Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of That Key Stasher Show right here on Toy Quest 101. And on this versus episode, we're gonna be facing off two of Spider-Man's deadliest foes, the Green Goblin versus the Hobgoblin. And that episode's gonna start right now. now. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of That Geek Statue Show right here on Toy Quest 101. Now in honor of the new Spider-Man movie, Spider-Man No Way Home, we're gonna be unboxing two of Spider-Man's deadliest foes, the Green Goblin and the Hobgoblin. Now before we start, we wanna remind you to subscribe to Toy Quest 101 and don't forget to smash that notification bell so you don't miss any toy reviews, statue unboxings, or any celebrity guests that might pop up on our show. Now, like I said, we're going to be unboxing not one, but two premier collection statues from our friends over at Diamond Select Toys. And we're going to do it in honor of Spider-Man, and we're going to do it big with two of his deadliest foes, the Green Goblin and the Hobgoblin. So, Liana, who are you going to be unboxing today? I'm going to be unboxing the winner of this battle, the Green Goblin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm going to be unboxing the winner of this battle, the Hobgoblin, the first goblin to appear in Spider-Man. So Ileana, what do you want to start with first? Let's start with your box. Well, the box is way bigger than yours. And I love that the um, Green Goblin you can see in the front of the box. That's right. Just the same Premier Collection statue boxes that we usually get. And you're going to see the picture of the Green Goblin of the statue right in front of the box and surrounding it. Well, my box is similar, but the difference is it might not be as big as yours, but my statue looks cooler because he's already ripping Spider-Man's costume in half. I don't see yours doing that. All right, guys, enough of the arguing. Let's get down to unboxing these two. All right, guys, now we just unboxed these two incredible statues and they look amazing. These are the premier collection statues from our friends over at Diamond Select Toys. Now, Eliana unboxed the Green Goblin, and I unboxed the Hobgoblin. So, Eliana, why don't you tell us about the Green Goblin? Norman Osborn created a shrink and hit isotope on himself, resulting in a terrifying new persona based on a childhood nightmare. And this is the Green Goblin. I love everything on the statue, and I love that the fire of flame that he has on his board, way bigger than yours. And I love the green and purple that he has. And I love that he's throwing the pumpkin bombs. And I love his pointy hat that he has. And this, and this comes with two pieces at 12 inches tall. And this is a COA that is 12, uh, 1294 out of 3,000. That means they made 3,000 of these. All right, that was a lot that you said. And man, what an incredible piece standing at 12 inches tall. Again, limited to 3,000. And I'm gonna have to agree with Liana. I love the fact that he's throwing his pumpkin bombs. I love the fact that his hat's a lot longer than the one I have. It, it really looks like he's in flight, right? Yeah. His hoverboard is huge. You can see all the technology on it. He has scaly green skin, right? You see some uh, purple shadowing effects which is cool on the purple parts of his costume you're gonna see the metal buckles right here across his chest and his bomb bag right where he keeps all his pumpkins i mean it really really looks cool i love it now the base base is made out of wood a little different than one we see um i don't know if i like it that much but i do like the rest of it right i'm not too sure about this because it almost looks like a trophy but it does make the statue a lot sturdier so it is pretty cool to have that base on the bottom now everything else stands out to me i really like it i mean he has the yellow eyes look at that grin on his face you see the wrinkles all over his face he has that evil clownish grin right you can see all the lines underneath his neck as he throws that pumpkin bond i mean i really like your statue i think it looks cool yeah. you did a good job but we're gonna talk about the hobgoblin now so billionaire roger rick Kingsley was obsessed with the Green Goblin and led him to one of the supervillains hideouts upgrading the Green Goblin's costume, technology, and strength enhancing Goblin formula and became the Hobgoblin. 
to be basically a copy of the Green Goblin. Maybe. But, nonetheless, the Hobgoblin was one of the first goblins to appear in the Spider-Man animated series. Thank you very much. Um, and we're just gonna talk about the statue right now. So my statue is a little bit more glossy. Yours was a little bit more with the doll colors, which I like. This one's a little bit more glossy. Now he has orange and blue, and the blue has scales as well. Now the cool thing about this statue is that he looks like he has Spider-Man's costume and he ripped it into sheds, right? So I really like that they kind of did that here right now. I'm not too crazy about the costume itself because it looks a little weird. I like the idea how he kind of broke the statue in half. He's really coming after Spider-Man. I do like my base a little bit better than yours. You see the horns on his uh, hoverboard. It is a smaller hoverboard though. This is a 10 inch uh, statue versus your 12 inch. But man, I really like the dynamic pose. I, I, you know, he has the bomb bag. You really don't see his ears. His uh, hood uh, and hat is a little bit smaller, but he does have a cape, yours does not, which is definitely a big difference between the Hobgoblin and the Green Goblin, aside from the colors. And the cape looks pretty cool. It's a sculpted piece. It's all ripped up and stuff, battle torn, which is pretty cool. Again, he's very glossy. And I do love his face, right? He has his mouth open, he's grinning. He has the red eyes. Looks almost like a witch, right? Or a goblin. He has the pointy uh, shoes as well. And the base is all smoke, which I think is really cool. Now this is also limited to 3000. We have 1628 in this edition size. Now, which one do you like the most? Green Goblin. All right, well, I like the Hobgoblin. So we're gonna leave it up to you guys. Let us know in the comments which statue you like better, which villain do you like better. Is it the Green Goblin or is it the Hobgoblin? Are you Team Iliana or are you Team Miguel? And let us know in the comments. And that wraps up our show. I love both these statues. I wanna thank our friends over at Diamond Select Toys. Again, these are the premier collection statues of the Green Goblin and the Hobgoblin. And I hope you guys catch Spider-Man today in movies. I hope it's great. I hope it has all three Spider-Mans. We don't know yet. We know the Green Goblin's making an appearance along with some of the other foes, and I think it's gonna be great. All right, Ileana, tell them where they can find us. You can find us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and TikTok. And don't forget to subscribe to Toy Quest 101 on YouTube. And we're gonna have all the links in the bio to where you can get these statues and our friends over at Diamond Select Toys. And until next time, we'll see you on another episode of That Geek Statue Show right here on Toy Quest 101. Bye, guys. Bye.